New at noon, a big day for a major project to restore the Everglades. Local leaders coming together for a groundbreaking ceremony. Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia was there, joins us live now from Southwest Miami Dade. Annalise? Geo Janice, a very exciting day. This project has been in the works for years. So basically what it's doing is protecting the Everglades all the while mitigating the flooding in the area just east of here in Southwest Miami Dade. This project keeps the water where we need it and where it's intended to go and keeps it away from people that don't need it. Stir it up. A long awaited project in the Everglades, all part of ongoing restoration goals for the park. A massive underground curtain wall is being built in southwest Miami Dade, west of Las Palmas, to manage flooding and to allow more water to stay in the Everglades and move into the Florida Bay. And today is what's saving the eight and a half mile, the farmers down the road, and the environment on the other side. Local officials spoke about the grand necessity for this wall as nearby communities just east of the Everglades have suffered severe flooding in the past. County Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz said he's seen people even lose their homes to this water damage. There's great, hit, great future for our parks and great future for our, for our farmers and our residents too. The superintendent of Everglades National Park, Pedro Ramos, elaborated on why it's not only crucial to mitigate the flooding for nearby communities, but to keep water in the Everglades. It helps us keep the terrestrial Everglades healthy, and it ensures that Florida Bay will thrive. Unless we control the loss of water to the eastern boundary of the park, we will not be able to achieve restoration. The wall will be 63 feet deep and 26 inches wide, and it will run about 2.3 miles long. The project is expected to be finished by April 2022. So construction is underway. They started about a week ago, and as you just heard, they're expecting to be done by spring next year. For now, I'm live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.